Do you remember Pearl Roundabout, Lolo Square in Manama, Bahrain? It used to look like this, but now it looks like this. The regime in Bahrain tried to erase the symbol of the revolution and the importance of the square, just as in Tahrir Square, the former Mubarak regime in Egypt sent in camels with men on them to try to beat the protesters and scare them off and block out the importance of protesters gathered there. Now from Tahrir, we go to Taksim Square in Istanbul, Turkey. The Turkish government has decided that the most well-known square in the country, along with Gezi Park, should be made into a shopping center. Why would Ankara decide to destroy this historic area? And why now? Is a shopping center that important? Or is there another reason for the decision? Could it be that perhaps the government in Ankara is making a similar decision like that which was made in Manama? Removing symbols are very significant. Taksim Square is the center of resistance and demonstrations. Otherwise, why would a government erase historical symbols unless it is trying to hide something or stop something? In Manama, the government destroyed Lolo Square because they thought it could stop the revolution in progress by destroying the place that people would gather for demonstrations. Though Manama destroyed the symbol, the revolution continues. And in Turkey, from the decision made by the government to destroy this historic area, has come the outcry of the Turkish people. From the plan to cut down the trees of Gazi Park and transform this area, Ankara is witnessing the transformation of its people from keeping quiet to rising up. Demonstrations broke out in Istanbul and has spread throughout the country. There are no longer demonstrations protesting just the destruction of a historic area. There are protests against the destruction of the direction that the Turkish people want their government to go in. The government has responded harshly with tear gas, water cannons and arrests. Many people have been injured and at least one person, according to latest reports, has been killed. The Turkish people are fed up with a government they see as more and more going in a different direction than what its people want. The Turkish people did not want its nation to get involved in the Syrian situation, but the government did. The Turkish people kept saying that they had no problems with its neighbors and that ultimately by being involved, it could affect Turkey itself. But the government of Tayyip Rajab Erdogan continued to have a deaf ear towards its people and continued working with the Americans and the Saudis and others to overthrow the government in Damascus. The Turkish government approached the Syrian situation as if there was sheer hatred for the Syrians. Even recently, a new bridge was built in Istanbul and named Yavuz Sultan Selim. Why did you decide to name the bridge after the king who killed tens of thousands of Alevis and fought with Iran and conquered Syria? What message are you trying to give? Are you promoting blood being spilled? Why don't you promote peace? Why have you chosen a path of confrontation and hatred? And now what has happened from the roots of hatred even inside of Turkey itself? The group that Ankara supports in Syria, six members of Al-Qaeda al-Nusra Front, has been arrested trying to plant bombs in Adana. Why did you support these terrorists to begin with, that now they're inside of Turkey and threatening the country, now that you have refused peace, the path that your people wanted, now the streets in many Turkish towns are filled with your own people calling for the government to fall. As you beat your people and attack them with tear gas and water cannons, do you think that you are promoting democracy? Or are your lies finally coming apart for the world to really see what the government of Erdogan is and what it stands for? It does not stand for Islam. It does not stand for democracy, but simply is another pawn in the hands of the Americans. As more and more people take to the streets, young and old, as even famous singers and actors are demanding a change, what will your response be this time? Will it be 
what the Turkish people really want, or will it be what those pulling the strings of the Turkish government demand? Kendi halkına zulmeden bu rejimin iktidarda kalmasını sağlayacak hiçbir planı desteklememiz söz konusu olamaz ve olmamalıdır. Kendi halkına zulmeden bu rejimin iktidarda kalmasını sağlayacak hiçbir planı desteklememiz söz konusu olamaz ve olmamalıdır. Ve halkın sesini halen baskı ve şiddetle susturmaya çalıştığını görüyoruz.